Hi students, welcome back to my channel Influenced Mathematics. Here today I am back with exercise 10.2, the second exercise of chapter 10. In this exercise we will be learning regarding several new things. Just be very attentive here. See students, these two are the parallel lines. Line L and line M. These two lines are parallel and these two lines has been cut by one another line that is N. That line L that line N is called transversal. These two lines L and M are parallel to each other. Parallel means these two lines will never meet to each other. They are not going to intersect. Okay, so these two lines are parallel and these two parallel lines has been cut by the line N. That's why this line N is called the transversal. Okay, now see here four angles four Four, four, eight angles are coming here. One angle, two angle, three angle, four angle, right? Here also one, two, three, four angles. So four, four, eight angles are coming here. Now inside those two parallel lines, which are the angles? Three, four, five, and eight. So these four angles are interior angles, right? These four are the interior angles. And outside the parallel line, one and two, six and seven, clear? So, those are exterior angles, okay? Now, inside the, among the interior angles, this 3 and 5 cross, right? They are opposite to each other, yes or no? Cross. So, the cross angles, that is 3 and 5, these two are alternate angles. 3, angle 3 and angle 5 are equal because they are alternate angles, okay? 3 and 5 are alternate angles in the same way 4 and 8 is also alternate angles, okay? In the same way, exterior also, 1 and 7 are alternate angles and 2 and 6 are alternate angles, clear? So, among the interior inside angles, the cross angles are interior uh, alternate angles and among the exterior also, the cross angles are at the alternate angles. Interior alternate angles, exterior alternate angles. Commonly we call them as alternate angles only. Now what is corresponding angles? See, on the same side you have to see now, not cross, okay? On the same side of transversal, see, okay? This is a transversal, either left side you see or right side you see, whichever. Now first let us see on the right side. So right side, right side, the angles are 1, 4, 5 and 6, right? So, angle 1 is above the line, angle 5 is above the line, right? Angle 1 is above the parallel line, angle 5 is also above the parallel line. So, these two angles, angle 1 and angle 5 are the corresponding angles. In the same way, angle 4 is below the line, angle 6 is below the line. So, angle 4 and angle 6 are also corresponding angles. So, line up, line up, the angle above the line, angle above the line on the same side of transversal are corresponding angles. In the same way, line down, line down. 4 and 6 are corresponding angles. Like that, on the other side, angle 2 and angle 8, right, are corresponding angles. Line up, line up. Angle 3 and angle 7, line down, line down. So, they are also corresponding angles. And corresponding angles and alternate angles are equal, okay? Corresponding angles, whichever are corresponding, they are equal to each other. Whichever are alternate, they are also equal to each other. And this happens when the two lines are parallel to each other. When two lines will be parallel, that time only alternate and corresponding angles are equal. Clear? So here, number one, they say, from this figure, that you find out the pairs of alternate and corresponding angles. So alternate angles are alternate angles. R, which are the alternate angles? 3 and 5 cross 4 and 8. 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 8 inside, right? So outside 1 and 7 cross 2 and 6. 1 comma 7 cross 2 comma 6. So these are the pair. This is one pair. This is another pair. This is the third pair. This is the fourth pair. Clear? Like that, corresponding angles also we will get four pairs here. Corresponding angles are, which are the angles? Let's see. Line up 1, line up 5, 1, 5. Like that, line down 4, line down 6, 4, 6. Like that on the other side, 
line up two, line up eight, two comma eight, line down three, line down seven, three comma seven. So these are the pairs of alternate and corresponding angles. Done. Now let us see to the next one. Next question. Alternate angles to three. Same thing we have been given here for the particular angle. Alternate angle of three and alternate angle of seven. Three cross it is five. Right. So alternate angle of three. Alternate angles to angles. 3 and 7 are for 3 it is 5 and for 7 it is 1 right for 3 it is 5 and for 7 it is 1 so alternate angles to angle 3 and 7 are 5 and 1 clear like that the next one corresponding angles corresponding angles to angle 6 and 8 so angle 6 and 8, let us see the angle 6 and 8, angle 6 and angle 8, corresponding angles. So line down is 6, line down on the same side it is 4, so 6 corresponding is 4, 8 corresponding is 2, line up is 8, line up it is 2, so 8 corresponding is 2 and 6 corresponding is 4. So we'll write down here, corresponding angles, corresponding angles to angle 6 and 8 are, for 6 we got 4, and for 8 we got 2. So, 4 and 2 are the corresponding angles to 6 and 8. Clear? Now, the next one, last question of this, it is, pairs of the interior angle on the same side of transversal. On the same side, pairs we have to make of the interior angles. Okay? So you see, on the same side, same side interior angles are 3 and 8. This is inside angles, right? 2 and 7 are exterior. So if they are telling exterior, we were supposed to write 2, 7. But they are telling interior, so we'll write 3 and 8 is making one pair. And on the other side, 4 and 5 is making other pair. So 3, 8, 3, 8, this is one pair. And another is 4, 5. Clear? So this is how we are going to solve the problems of 10.2. We are going to write down the alternate corresponding angles. In the previous exercise, I talked to you about vertically opposite angles also. If you have not seen, please vi visit and watch the vi previous video to understand it more clearly. Now, we will be coming out with the next exercise that is 10.3. 10.3 question number 1 says, find the value of x, y, and z. Now here students, the alternate angles, corresponding angles, vertically opposite angles, linear pairs, whatever we have learned in the previous two exercises, those things are going to be helpful here to solve the problems. Okay? Now you see in this figure, x and 130 are, are vertically opposite angle because they are the angles formed because because of the because of the intersection of two lines right so these two angles are vertically opposite so you have to write down x is equal to 130 you have to write down the reason that is vertically opposite angles okay then the next you see this x is line up okay this x is here on this side x also exterior y also exterior right x also exterior, y also exterior, right? So x and y is making the cross angle, that is alternate angle. Then that is why x is equal to 130. Or else you can say this 130 is lying down on the same side. 130 is lying down, y also lying down. So y is equal to 130 because of corresponding angles also and because of alternate also. If you say y is equal to x is equal to 130, then you have to write down alternate angles. But if you are telling y is equal to 130, then 130 line down, this y also line down on the same side. So you can say corresponding also. It's up to you, whichever you take the reason. Okay? But it, ne it needs a valid one. So let me take this corresponding one. It is more comfortable here. We can see y is also equal to 130 degree because 
it is corresponding angle corresponding angles clear now we can see here see y and z is forming half circle right 180 degree so y plus z is making 180 y plus z is equal to 180 degree linear pier two angles making 180 that is called linear pier angle y is given 130 plus z is equal to 180 degree so z is equal to 180 minus 130 that is 50 degree so this is the value of z x y and z this is how you are going to find out so I alternate angles, corresponding angles, vertically opposite angles, linear pairs. These are the uh, uh, steps which you are going to take in these figures to find out the value of x, y, and z. In different problems, in different different uh, options, you will be getting. Somewhere you may be taking vertically opposite angles. Somewhere you may you may need to take alternate angles. It depends on the sum. So try to solve the remaining. Okay, but it will be needing only alternate corresponding vertically opposite linear pairs these are only the uh, uh, process you will be needing for solving out and finding out the value of x y and z now let's see the next question question number two here also same thing one angle is given this angle plb is given and we have to find out the remaining see here also remaining all together eight angles are there one two three and one is given four 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 angles are there out of which only one angle is given that is angle PLB. Angle PLB is given, PLB is given that is 45 degree. Done. Now we know PLB, okay. PLB plus PLA, this angle plus this angle, this two is making linear pair, isn't it? PLB plus PLA is making linear pair. So angle PLB plus angle PLA is equal to 180 degree so angle PLB is 45 PLA we don't know is equal to 180 degree so angle PLA is equal to 180 minus 45 that is 135 best okay so why these two angle sum is 180? You have to write down here linear pair. Clear? Now this is given. PLB is 45. This is given. And this we got for, because it is linear pair. In this way we got the value of PLA. Now PLA I got 135. Okay. Now this PLA, this angle and this angle is vertically opposite. Like that these two angles are also vertically opposite. Okay. So this angle name will be BLM. BLM angle BLM is equal to 135 that is vertically opposite angle in the same way this angle name is angle ALM is equal to 45 degree because vertically opposite angles done so this is becoming 135, this is becoming 45. Okay. Now I can see this angle is equal to this angle because corresponding angles line up, line up. So this angle name is LMC angle L angle LMC is equal to this angle LMC and this angle name is angle PLA is equal to angle PLA is equal to 135 both are this is also 135 so this also become 135 why corresponding angles okay like that this angle and this angle also equal because corresponding angle so angle LMD angle LMD is equal to angle PLB is equal to 45 degree why because corresponding angles same okay now you see this is of becoming 135 this is becoming 45 right now this 45 then this is also 45 because vertically opposite angles now this is 135 so this is also 135 because vertically opposite angle 
So the same you will write down here. Angle angle C M. Okay. Here's the name. P Q. So angle C M Q is equal to angle L uh, L M D is equal to 45 degree. Why? The reason is vertically opposite angles. Done. In the same way, this is becoming 45. In the same way, these two also equal. That is LMC is equal to angle DMQ. This is equal to 135. Why? Because vertically opposite angles. So this is how you are going to solve out the problems of this exercise. Let's see one more problem so over here. Question number 6. In this figure, ABC is a triangle. Here one line is given PQ, which is parallel to BC. These two lines are parallel, PQ and BC is parallel. So this AB is also cutting these two parallel lines. AC is also cutting these two parallel lines. So AB, AB is also cutting these two parallel lines. AC is also cutting to these two parallel lines. So AB is also the transversal. AC is also the transversal. So according to the situation, we will be taking the help. Now we see, we see here. PQ parallel to BC given PQ parallel to BC given now AB is the transversal AB is the transversal therefore this 60 and X these are alternate angles X is equal to 60 degree Y alternate angles Okay, like that, AC is the transversal, AC is the transversal, so that's why Y is equal to 50, Y is equal to 50 degree alternate angles, clear, in this way we got the value of X and Y, so PQ is parallel to BC, since AB is the transversal, so these two are alternate angles, and when AC is the transversal, so Y and 50 are alternate angles. Clear? So, let's see one more problem from this exercise. In this question, it is said, two interior angles on the same side of transversal measure X minus 8 degree and 5X minus 4 degree. Find the measure of each angle. See, students, interior angles, interior angles on the same side of transversal, that means these two are the parallel lines, these two are the interior angles on the same side of transversal. This is the transversal on the same side. So these two angles sum is going to be 180 degree. Like that these two sum is going to be 180 degree. Okay. The sum of the interior angles on the same side of transversal. Interior angles on the same side of transversal is 180 degree. So the interior angles on the same side of transversal are given x minus 8 and 5x minus 4. So you will write down x minus 8 plus 5x minus 4 is equal to 180 degree the reason is interior angles on the same side of transversal on the same side of transversal is 180 degree interior angles on the sum of sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal is 180 degree so this is the condition because of which these two interior angles whichever given is 180 degree. Now this is 1x, this is 5x, 1x plus 5x it is 6x, minus 8 minus 4 that is minus 12 is equal to 180. 6x is equal to 180 minus 12 moving from left hand side to right hand side becoming plus 12. So 6x, x keeping. 180 plus 12, it is 192 by 6. 6, 3 is 18, 1, 2, 6, 2 is 12. So x equal to, we are getting here, 32, right? So angles were x minus 8 and 5x minus 4. So x minus 8 is going to be 32 minus 8, that is going to be 24 degree. And another is 5x minus 4, 5x minus 4. So 5x value is 32 minus 4. 5 into 32, 5 to the 10, Kenyan 1, 5 to the 15, plus 116, 160 minus 4, that is 150.
56 degree. So 24 degree and 156 degree are the interior angles on the same side of transversal. So this is the condition with which we are going to solve this problem. That's all from this exercise and from this chapter. Keep practicing well. That's the end of this syllabus of second terminal examination. We will be coming out with the new videos in the third terminal syllabus. For the third terminal syllabus. Till then, keep practicing. Stay at home. If any doubt, you can comment me in the comment section. It's Nirmal Roy signing off.